Hey everybody, this is Craig Garber. Welcome to Everyone Loves Guitar. We've got a great, I mean, incredible guitar player with us today from Spain. Um, I'm, I'm really happy to have Jose de Castro on the show, and I want to turn you on to his music. He's got a, first of all, he's a great blues and rock player, but he has this incredible uh, right-hand technique that he uses, um, and it really creates these... Tr fantastic melodies so let, let's let me tell you about uh jose's background jose de castro is a professional guitar player and music producer from madrid spain he's been playing since he was 10 and over time he became well recognized in the madrid music scene he's a very popular session guitarist in spain he has played at nam for the last 15 years he wasn't there this year because he had a gig but he's always there so you've probably seen him he also conducts master classes throughout Europe, and he's the first artist from Spain to be ever endorsed by Fender. His album, Breathe, won first place as the best ambient instrumental album from the Academ Academia Music Awards in L.A. He's released five studio and two live records, and he's played with musicians like Simon Phillips, who we had here on the show, Paul, Gillips, sorry, Paul Gilbert, who we had here on the show, Guthrie Govin, Red Beach, and Rob Marcello. He's open for Joe Satriani, who we, of course, had here on the show, Scott Henderson, and Michael Landau, who's supposed to be coming on soon. Jose, thank you for coming on the show, man. I appreciate it. Thanks to you. It's my pleasure. Yeah, man. Um, how did you first get started in the music business? Really, my first money with the music was with, I was 16 years old, more or less. I was playing in, in, in a band with, for, for the old people, you know, in the parties with old people, okay. every, kind, every kind of music. <laughs> we was playing for Joy Satrani to Queen to Spanish popular music. Okay. <laughs> More or less, uh, ten, um, 100 uh, songs every, every night. <laughs> every, oh, so you're a big cover band. Yes, really. Okay. For five five hours every day. Wow. Crazy. Yes. <laughs> and and this was in Madrid. No, around the Spain. Around the whole Spain. Okay. Yes. So you were traveling very young. Yes, really. That's really cool. Your parents were good with that. They supported that. Yes. Yes. Do Do you come from like a musical family? No, not really. Oh not wow. No. That's cool. No, no, no musicians in my family. That's good that they supported you, though, man. Yes. What was is the music scene in Spain? Is it a big music scene? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? it is. Yeah. Okay. So, what was your first break that you got? Like uh, first big opportunity. Maybe with uh, twenty years old. Yeah. I, I was start to to play in a like a record session. Okay. In studio recording for two years, and I was recording every day, every day, different kinds of music for TV, for for cinema, for pop, for rock, every kind of music. It was a super experience for me. So you became a big, a very busy session player. Mm, really, really. Was there like a producer, or did you get connected with a couple of producers who who just liked your playing? No, not really. When, when, you know, when you are in the music business, uh, you know different people. Yes. And and uh, maybe one singer. Hi, I like the like you play guitar. Uh, can you produce this song for me because I like your style? Oh, okay. Let me try. Oh, sound good. Okay, blah blah blah. And every time more and more and more. And now, is this is my job. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's cool. Uh, do you do a, is most of your work today session work or do you play on, with your trio out a lot? Really, I play more, more with uh, Spanish pop artists. Okay. Uh, touring around Spain, in South America, in the United States, but uh, always for Latin people, you know. And with my trio, I play sometimes in small clubs, you know. 
Have you ever opened as your trio for one of the artists that you're playing with? Yes. For Joey Satrani, I remember this experience was amazing. Because Joey, in the, I, I remember the sound check, and Joey told me, hey, man, what, which ampl, ampl, amplifier do you use? Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you are Joey Satrani. <laughs> <laughs> Good pedal. Oh, I like this pedal. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. That's nice guy. Cool. Yeah. He's a very nice guy. I had him I, here. Really sweet man, man. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. So, uh, musically, what are the top three experiences that you've had? Mm, the, the best experience for me is to play with, with very good musicians. I remember when... When I, I I played with Simon Phillips, yeah, in my second album was wow. My drummer plays very good, you know, <laughs> but Simon is yes, yeah. he, he's amazing. Yeah, really amazing. It was a, a super experience for me. How did you connect with him? By internet. And he said, "Oh the, wow, the, the bass player, the." Uh, from Chakakan. Yes. It's Melvin Lee Davis. Yep. And Simons plays together. I know uh, to Melvin Davis in Holland. Okay. Uh, hey, I would like to play in your album, Sun Bass. Okay, thank you. And uh, maybe Simon uh, could be play in your album because it's more rock music. Let me check. Okay, thank you. And Simons plays in my album three songs wow <laughs> it was crazy crazy did he send in tracks or, or you you didn't play live did you no no send me tracks that's cool man yes. that's cool <laughs> um what wh what kind of a town where did you grow up donde creciste <laughs> ah uh, in, in madrid in madrid in madrid, the, yeah. in the city itself yes in the city that's a big city Really big city, yes. I, I live uh, maybe uh, eight kilometers, maybe five miles from, yes. from Madrid. More a small town, but it's very close to Madrid. Very close. What was that like growing up there? Como fue tu infancia en Madrid? Is that good? <laughs> Perfect. Your, your Spanish is too much better than my English. Because <laughs> I'm cheating, man. I'm looking at Google. <laughs> in, my, in my generation, uh, in the school, yeah, and no, 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 learn English. Everyone from my generation. Yeah. Now my, my son, with 13 years old, speak English perfectly, <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> I have this this problem, really. <laughs> but you never you never have a chance to speak English. <laughs> you know, you don't like. When would you speak it? If you don't speak it all the time, you get rusty. Yes, I know. When when I go, for example, to China, yeah, I I will I will be in China maybe one month. Yes, my English is too much better. Yeah, because in cause Spain, you... I, I work with. Spanish people, and when I go, for example, to Miami, yeah, Miami, Miami is all Spanish, man. Yes, I yeah. know. For record, for you know, uh, Latin music business, it's all no problem. nobody <laughs> speaks English in Miami, man. Yes, it's very difficult to speak English in Miami. Yes, I know. <laughs> the, the uh, I, t I told you, Diego, Diego, yes, it came on here, and he, he, he's he was it was the most he spoke English on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so what was your growing up to infancia in Madrid? What was it like? Well, very. My family is a, a pure family. Yes. No, no rich family. Yeah. But my my infancia was really good. Cool yeah. Because always uh, playing on the street with my friends, you know, super. Super, very good. <laughs> good, bueno. <laughs> what, what got you started playing guitar? With 10, 10 years old, more or less. Nine or 10 years old. What? Uh, Why? What, 
I don't know. I, I think the I I was listening to uh, Mark Knopfler yeah. on the radio and changed my life. Really, this moment changed my life. Was, wow, what is that? And my father, this is a guitar. Just guitar. <laughs> my mother, the same. Just guitar. <laughs> but in, in this moment... Please, I, I need to play guitar. I want guitar, blah, 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 blah. And finally, my, my parents, okay, take a Spanish guitar. Super cheap Spanish guitar, but it's okay for me. Yeah. <laughs> and always practicing guitar. No, I don't know. I don't know why. No musicians in my family. And you always like the blues? No. Uh, I remember my first band was... Uh, Pink Floyd, yeah, Super Trump, uh, Dire Straits, uh, Mike Oldfield. <laughs> you remember Mike? Wow, Oldfield? Yeah. yeah, this kind of music, and later uh, more rock music like uh, Mr. Big. Yeah, of course. Screen more super rock uh, guitar player, and um, explode my my head. Eddie Van Halen, yeah, you know, <laughs> of course. Uh, and did you always play a strat? Hmm? Always a play strat. Always a play a strat. Interesting. Strat or super strat? What's a super strat? With humbucker. Oh, okay. Rich. Three single coil or, or no? Sure. But in my studio, this is my studio <laughs> right now. It's beautiful, man. Yes. Check. I, I like <laughs> that uh, Selmer. I did. That's an old amp, isn't it? Yes, really. This is a, a Marshall Jubilee. Yeah. A Selmer from England from 1965. Yeah. AC3 with oh, head. Wow. A Beatles style, Beatles style. Yeah. <laughs> for, man. for 1964. Wow. Uh, let me check. This is a Plexi. Marcel Plexi. Wow. Can you see? You yes. See, yes, man. And Fender Tom Master from Custom Shop. Really good. Let me ask you, where where did you get did you buy those amps in Spain? Yes. Yes. So it's, it's, more, it's more really uh, easy to buy this kind of, of amplifier. Are expensive, you know? Yes. But really everyone are from Europe. You know. Yeah, I'm surprised they have so much vintage gear, though. That's old. That's beautiful amps, man. Yes, yes. Uh, in the another place, I have the cabinets. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I can show you later. No problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool, man. Yes. Okay, so um, I want to talk about your right hand technique. Ah, thank you. Okay, yeah, man. Um, I've never. I've never heard anybody do what you do where you strum so quickly <laughs> that the chord becomes part of the melody in a, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Where did you get that from? How did you come up with that? That's, it's amazing, man. Thank you so much. Oh, you're <laughs> I, welcome. I love uh, funk music. Funk really. music. Yeah, man. Really, I love this kind of music. For example, uh, uh, Herbie and Fire and this kind of yes. music. And I love blues, of course, and rock music. And this is the fusion. Oh, yeah. I, because really, I, I'm, a, I'm a 90s guy. Yes. And you know, uh, the Hot Chili Peppers, mm -hmm. uh, Race Against the Machine, mm -hmm. this kind of, of super groups. Yeah. Play, Super rhythm, but I like this this kind of music, and I love blues and I love instrumental music. And yeah. this is my fusion of styles. <laughs> I've never heard anyone do that. Oh, I mean, really? It, it's really it's fantastic, man. How, I mean, and it's so fast. I don't. You must have practiced a lot, obviously, to get that speed on that. Not really, not really. It's it's more or less. Of course, I need to. I I play every day. Sure, but no, it's, it's super difficult to me this technique. It's more natural. Yeah, 
it's more difficult to play maybe legato and yeah i need more plastic but it's more or less more or less easy to play with my rain head it's be so that song for you ah for you <laughs> you that's where you use that technique i mean it's so beautiful it's beautiful man I, I when i heard that that's why i called you man i I don't I found you on the internet or something and I I heard that song <laughs> and I said Dios mío what <laughs> I said that's a I got to talk to this guy that, that's incredible man where, where did how did you uh, come up with that song cuz it's beautiful Thank you Oh you're really? welcome uh, it was more or less like a um a fight with my brain. Okay, let me play. let me explain. Yeah, I, I want uh, to to do an instrumental song without a lead guitar song. Oh, and and in my head, okay, this riff, this riff, uh, reading is different, different tempo, different time. You know, and it was like a. I don't know explain, but I, I, this is okay. I I want uh, to play instrumental song, super melodic song, without without lead, lead guitar. Yeah, man. Without wow. Lead guitar. Yes. <laughs> what made? Uh, if you could answer, what made you think about that? Ah, about this song. Yeah. This is. I think that is my most popular song. Oh, it's it's, it's a beautiful song, man. Thank you, <laughs> because it's, it's different. No, it's uh, like Satrani or like Steve Vai or like uh, Andy Timmons. Right. I, I love, I love. Yeah, him. yeah. great player. Or, yes, or Scott Henderson. I'm super fan of this kind of or Mike Landa. You know. Sure. This song is, I think, that is different. No, it is. Yes. Mm, this was my, my way. Okay, I need a different song, but instrumental music, uh, good for vocals, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's great. Do you have that on a studio or only live record? No, in a studio. What? Hang on. What album? Uh, Conversation, my my third album. Okay, you know what? That was not on iTunes. <laughs> no. No, I didn't see it. I only saw uh, Poco de lo Mio live, breathe, and guitar room. I ah. didn't see conversation because the only the only place I saw for you is on the live record. Ah, okay, okay. And I was looking for the studio, and I so it's conversation. Maybe I have to go back. Yes. Maybe I missed it. Yes, conversation. All right, conversation. I'm gonna go back and look. The other song that you have that's fantastic, man. It's perfecto. Uh, tornado. <laughs> tornado. Holy <laughs> shit. I, that, I mean, it's like a tornado. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's just like a tornado, man. How did you come up with that? <laughs> this is more or less the same, the same way. And reading song with power, blues, and super tornado, you know? <sighs> but uh, with a little fusion moment yes you know, and riff always uh, i love to play different riffs yeah you know. this, this kind of things i love it <laughs> well that is so fast i don't know that i've heard anybody play that fast that's phenomenal oh thank you oh it's just incredible man the, the last part is more or less like paul gilbert style yes because i love paul gilbert is yeah one of my best influence, you know. Yes. Um, with the big, my right hand works very good in this in this way. <laughs> yeah, your right hand is incredible, man. Thank you. Tell me about uh, what's your number one guitar? Mm. Yeah, show me. That'd be great. This one. <laughs> okay, so tell me about it. Yes, this is a Fender Custom Shop, Master Bill, mm. or John Cruz. By Joe Cruz. Yes. Yeah. Joe Cruz uh, works this guitar for me. 
when did you get that? Uh, maybe three years ago. Yeah, it's a beautiful guitar. What kind of pick? What kind of pickups? Uh, uh, the name are Ancho. Ancho, Spanish. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ancho. Poblano. Ancho Poblano. Yeah. This is a, a spicy pepper. I yes. think so. <laughs> Ancho Poblano pickups. Yeah, man. What uh, uh, numero dos guitar? Maybe my second, yeah. uh, John Cruz. <laughs> Your second, John Cruz? Yes, but uh, in, in black. This is the black one. Right. And guitar now is, uh, I, I'm on tour with Melendi. Yes. Melendi is a super popular Spanish artist. And now we are on tour. And, and the guitar is with my back line. Oh, okay. And how mm. about tres, number three? Maybe my... Gibson Les Paul. Can, can you, is it close? Is, can From I see 19, it? 1972. Can, can 19, I see it? Can, yes. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Oh, wow. So it's a gold top with yes. P90s. Yes. yes, with mini. No, oh, mini, mi mini, mini humbuckers. Humbuckers. Yeah, yeah. And it's 1972. Yes, 1972. Is it heavy? No, not too much. Yeah. No. Really, the the good uh, Les Paul, no, are, are not so so heavy. Yeah, but 72, they were they were they were big then. They were heavy back then. Sometimes. Not really. That's cool. The sound amazing. This guitar. Where did you Where did you get that? Uh, maybe. 15 years. 15 in Spain? Years ago. In Spain? No, by eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I not tried this guitar. Oh, I like, and the price is okay? Let me check. I, I, I paid the guitar. Wow, sound fantastic. <laughs> where, where did it come from? From the yeah, United States. Uh, maybe uh, the city was Tennessee. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> yes, from Tennessee. From Tennessee and eBay 15 years ago. Yes. That's but cool, the man. Price, the price was really good. Maybe uh, 2000 Oh, 2, that's... 500 That's a good... Dollar. Yeah, yeah. Good price. Yeah, that is good. That's a beautiful guitar, man. Yes. Uh, how about... What's your favorite amp? Mm, maybe Vox. The Vox? Yes, Vox. Yeah. Because for life, I I don't like it. For for life, not sound very good because you need more different sounds and it's a little noisy. You know, it's a vintage ampl amplifier. Yes. But in the studio, I, it's amazing. It's beautiful, yeah. Yes. I need two mics, Royer and Sure. Uh -huh. Perfect. Perfect. What do you yeah. play live? With I use a uh, big tone. That big is tone. A, yes, okay. Spanish brand. Okay. And um, yo-yo amplifiers. Yeah, yeah. The small one just for for small clubs. Yeah. Sounds great. <laughs> That's the new one that that they have, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's like brown, I think. More or less. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I saw it at Nam. Mm -hmm. I saw it at Nam. So you play the Joyo live. Um, okay, let me see if I could... Uh, uh, hang on one second. Okay, uh, tres CD favoritos. <laughs> uh, maybe the first album of, of Dire Straits. Okay, great record. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon. That's my number one. Oh, yeah, man. Really? Pink Floyd. <laughs> and, and different different kind of music, but really changed my, my life. The, uh, I'm not sure. Scott Henderson, Dog Party. Scott I'm not sure if the first or second album, blues album, I don't remember. But was it like, wow, this is real blues. <laughs> it's Dark Party. Yes, that party. 
Very cool, man. Uh, tell me what makes you happy. Really, to play, to play music, and of course, to be with my family. <laughs> you have kids? Yeah, two. Oh, two. How old are your kids? Boy and girl. <laughs> Yes. Quanto, cuantos años? My boy, uh, my son, uh, 13. Oh, cool. Uh, my daughter, 11. Oh, very nice, man. Very yes. nice. He, he plays, he plays guitar. Oh. And she plays viola. Oh, great, <laughs> man. Yes. That's really, really cool. <laughs> uh, most, let me see if I can ask you this in Spanish. It'll be easier. Uh, <laughs> la lesión más importante que tu madre y tu padre enseñaron. Good question, really. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> so I asked him what's the most important thing that his parents taught him. I remember uh, my father. My father uh, died very young. Oh, I'm Maybe. sorry. No, Sorry, yeah. man. Thank you. Thank you. With uh, 15, 50 oh, years. man. Very young. Yeah. I was super young. Yeah. Um, my little sister, maybe 11 years old. That's Very tough, young. man. I'm, Very sorry. Yes. I, I was a heart attack. Um, today is here. Tomorrow, no. You know. Um, my father uh, always told me, okay, if you want to play music, to play guitar, I don't understand why. I don't understand. I don't. Uh, my father is, was like, this, my song is crazy, <laughs> you know, no? <laughs> but he told me, always I'm working in a job that really I, I don't like. I don't like. The life is if it's very short. In, in his case, super short. Yeah. And uh, you need to enjoy the life. If you want, want to play guitar, let's go. I don't know why, but let's go. If you can to pay to pay your shoes, your your guitar, it's okay. <laughs> That's wonderful, man. Yes. So I he really he really supported your music. Yes, it was very important. You uh, know. Yeah, that's really nice. That's very nice. What what kind of work did your dad do? Uh, my father, uh, uh, car car repair. Auto auto mechanic. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. That's really great that he supported you like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different walls. Yeah. Uh, and different head, really, because you know, the old generation was a little different. Very much. Yes, uh, oh, I want the long hair. I want okay, okay. That's Not really like, that's really like. cool that he was like that. Yes, yes. But my father always when I when I was playing with my first band, rock bands, and you know, mm. hey, my father to to his friend. Oh, hey, my son played very good guitar. It's a genius, my son. <laughs> that's nice, man. That's beautiful. Yes, that's really nice, man, and uh. How about tu madre? Uh, no. Yeah, my ma uh, my ma well, we we are four four brothers. Oh oh god, four. That's a lot yeah. of work. Yeah, mucho <laughs> trabajo, man. <laughs> two boys and two girls, and my mother always keep uh, of us. But when my father died, my mother uh, started uh, to clean in homes. Okay, the, good. Yes, for you know, no, oh, you no, got, you got a, no money so, for my father. And also, yeah, okay. of course. Everyone in the family, we need help. Okay, let's go. That's great. So yes, she, it's, it's, that's life, you know. Yeah. So she worked hard. Hmm. Yeah. Very nice, hmm. man. Uh, do you have any hobbies outside of music? Uh, I love uh, running. Oh yeah, 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 man. I love running. Yes, I, I can't. I try running more or less uh, four or five days uh, every week. Oh, that's great! Uh, and now I have four marathons, complete marathons. Four right on, <laughs> man! Congratulations! 
<laughs> Thank you. But my first time uh, doing sport was 10 years ago because never, never play football, never uh, play tennis. No, no just sure. play, play guitar every day. Every yeah, day. yeah. My, my, my friends, hey, come with us for to play football. You know, football is si. soccer. Soccer, so, yeah. Super popular in, in Europe. Uh, no, 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 no. I need to play guitar because this fucking Paul Gilbert is, uh, is <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, maybe 10 years ago, because now I have uh, 45 mm. years old, 10 years ago, oh, I am a little fat. Uh, I need to do sport. Yeah. Okay. Which sport? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> or maybe I can I can do on tour around the world. Yes. Yes, I need my shoes and running. That's great, man. You're yes, you're you're forty five. Forty five. Yes. Man, you look you look great, man. You look like you take good care of yourself. Oh, thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah. So you ran four marathons. Donde? Where? In Madrid. All in Madrid. Wow. You need to run the. Uh, New York City Marathon. Yes, I would like. I would like to do. <laughs> and the uh, and the Walt Disney in Orlando, here in Florida, the Walt Disney Marathon, Disney World. Do you, you run? No, I I lift weights. Ah, okay, I, okay. I lift weights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you if you run the Orlando Marathon, you call me. I'll come see you, man. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I will be in Orlando. When? Uh, in May. In May? In May, yes. Man, that's like an hour and a half away from here. Maybe I'll come up and see you. Uh, maybe. <laughs> what, who, who are you playing with? I, I will play with a Spanish artist, with Melendi. Okay. I have two, so, two shows in Miami because he's very popular. Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, next day in Orlando. After Orlando, uh, we have uh, New York. Oh, that's great, man. New Jersey, uh, Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco. Oh, that's great, man. Uh, maybe uh, Puerto Rico. Oh, that's cool. Maybe uh, 90 percent Puerto Rico and Costa Rica. Oh, that's nice. Costa Rica is nice there, man. Yes. Uh, ¿Cuántos días estarás en Nueva York? Four days. Oh, okay, man. I know, I know New York. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know New York. Okay. I, so, I love this city. So much fun. I, I remember to see uh, to Osnoy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oz is on this show. I had Oz on here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wayne Grant. I had Wayne on here. Um, uh, at fifty-five. Fifty-five club. club yeah. yeah. Two or three times. Then. Yeah. And uh, now, uh, eating Dune or Indie Dune. The name of the club. Oh, Iridium. Iridium. Sorry. Iridium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. Amazing place for to play. Yeah, it's a great place to play, man. I will see to Greg Howe. Yep. And Simon Phillips in the same band. Oh yeah, because we're protocol. Yes. Yeah, we're protocol. protocol. Yeah, yeah. I've had all all those. I haven't had Greg on my show, but all the other guys I've had here on the show, great players, man. <laughs> Top level. <laughs> hey, man, you're up there too, right there with you, man. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me ask you two more questions. Yes. La decisión más difícil uh, para usted. Para tú. Difficult. Yes. Maybe, difficult. <laughs> Maybe. I asked him what's the toughest decision he's had to make. Yes. Sometimes I, I think that I, I lose uh, too much time with the guitar in my in my room, and and sometimes I can say to my friends, uh, enjoy of the life in, in different different ways, different ways. This is different. Always I sometimes I think wow, always playing <laughs> guitar. You practice a lot still. Yes, uh, with this, uh, with this artist, with this recording, with this time, um, my family is very close of mine. But 
sometimes I I think, wow, I need to be more more time with my kids, with my wife. Sure. Yes. So, trabajando too much. Yes. Yeah, you're working too much. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's yeah. tough for everybody. Always, always. Yeah, it's very <laughs> tough to figure that out, man. Yeah. Uh, one more question. Mm-hmm. El mayor cambio en su personalidad en los últimos 10 años y cuánto de esto ha sido deliberado y cuánto ha sido una parte natural del envejecimiento. <laughs> <laughs> Me really? español is bad, bro. <laughs> I can understand perfectly. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I asked him what, what what's the biggest change in his personality over the last 10 years and how much of that has been deliberate and how much a part of aging. Really my priorities are uh, different right now. I I remember for example 10 years ago I I was take every job, every job. Uh, a few money job is okay. A lot of money is okay. Every job. Yes. And now I'm in different point. Good. Because I, I prefer to play my music for a small <laughs> budget. You yes. Know? Yes. But really, it is very happy to me. To play my music, to sure. play, I, I don't need uh, to do uh, really bad uh, jobs. Yeah, right. I have, I I'm working with good pro- productions in Spain and in, in United States. Mm-hmm. I have uh, good productions in my studio, uh, recording guitars, of course. Sure. And this is perfect now. Good. Good moment for me because good. maybe. In the future, in the future, I would like to play my music more and more and more, and not play with more Spanish artists or, or you know. Yeah, of course. Know. Really, I, I know this this business, and it's okay, and really enjoy. But you want to play your music more? Yes, I'm a little tired about it. I I get it, man. I totally mm-hmm. get it. And maybe the the percent is fifty to fifty. I remember when I was a, a child, uh, everything, oh, this is a problem, you know. Yes. Wow. <sighs> My string is broke. Oh, this is a problem. Now it's not important, you know. Yes. The, the life change. change. Um, when you have a... Uh, My father died, uh, I was thinking, wow, this is a problem. Uh, this is really important thing. Yes. And your your brain changed Every day, you know. Yeah, man. You need to live different experience. So you, you want to spend more time playing your music, and you're 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 you don't you take jobs that make you happy now. Yes, yes. Good for you, man. I'm happy for that. You're an excellent player, man. I would love to see you play here in the states. Anybody listening, anybody that's a booking agent, if you're looking for an incredibly talented guitar player with a great trio. Man, Jose de Castro is your guy, man. I mean, he's this, and I, I would love everybody to check out his music. Um, it's Jose de Castro, and he's got five albums: Un, uh, Un Poco de lo Mio, uh, Conversation, Live, Breathe, and Guitar Room. They're all great, man. And if you want to just check out a couple of his songs, check out For You, the song For You. Uh, tornado, but l- listen to the whole Guitar Room album. It's really good. He's just an amazing player, and um, thank you for your time, man. I appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, you. Uh, thanks for your Spanish. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, hold on one minute. Let me say goodbye, then you and I can talk, okay? okay? Moment. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank uh, you. Everybody, thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this, please share it on your social media channels with your friends. We appreciate your support. I would really love you to listen to Jose de Castro. If you're, I mean, he's just an incredible guitar player, and his 
his sound is such a clean strat sound and he's so powerful man and i'm i mean i'm not just saying this because he's here it's, it's just he's one of these guys that you listen to and it's just such a breath of fresh air because he does something really different he's got just this amazing right hand technique it's, it's just incredible you really enjoy it and uh don't forget most important thing to remember is that happiness is a choice so choose wisely be nice go play your guitar and have fun till next time peace and love everybody thank you brother bye bye thanks to you <laughs>